Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another installment. Installment? Welcome to another episode of Neil Reviews It. And my. And my. And my. Hey everybody, today we're gonna review Ready or Not. Oh, we're doing that first? This is my good friend Mike Kennedy. Hi. We just saw Ready or Not at the AMC, the Quail Springs. Quail Springs Mall AMC. Shout out once again to A List. We did see a mouse trap. <laughs> Upon exit. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, so they're not inside. Uh, <laughs> Stars Samara. Not Margot Robbie. This lady. This should be a Halloween costume this year. I think this is like a badass look. Children should watch this movie and, <laughs> and emulate this woman. It she also, did look awesome. She looked badass. Uh, yeah. Cut off wedding dress, the yellow cons, the bandolero. It also starred uh, Alex Brody. Alex Brody. Adam yeah. Brody yeah. played at No, he didn't play Alex. <laughs> played not Alex. <laughs> and he was from the OC, apparently. I know. Did you used to watch that? Mm. No, so we don't know. I think uh, we had a song on one of the soundtracks. You did. <laughs> you were in an episode? Did you play on it? Like your no, band was on it? We did 90210 oh. and Smallville. But the band was on 90210. Like you were yeah. in a, at a house party. I think that one was at a club. Or something. Well, some club they had. It's like the not peach pit, I think. It's also in the movie is Andy McDowell, who it was bothering me for like half the movie who it was. I couldn't place her. Really? Yeah, that's. And then I went to IMDb it, and some guy in the back of the theater was like, "Put your phone away." <laughs> and I was like, "That's a fair point." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anybody else. No. I oh, mean, the dad looked familiar. The dad looked familiar. The one guy was in Orphan Black. You said you ever saw that. That's a really good show. The the soccer mom version of the clones. Her husband is in this. Uh, I thought it was great. I did too. It was super fun. It was a lot of fun. I, I, it, it is exactly what I thought it'd be. Like I saw the trailer and my expectations were met in exactly the way that I thought they were. Maybe wanted it to be a little funnier. Mm. Yeah, some of the jokes were a little expected. Yeah. Uh, I definitely laughed more than anyone else in the theater. <laughs> Louder, at least. <laughs> because I was enjoying myself. Yeah. <laughs> the one guy laughed at one joke that I didn't laugh at, yeah. and it felt like it was inappropriate. And it was a shitty joke. I was like, this is, that's what I felt like. This is the joke you're going to laugh at? Because she... Spoiler? Okay. Alright, this is a spoiler alert. <laughs> she punches out a little kid. And I laughed when she punched out the little kid. I thought that was hilarious. But then, after she punches out the little kid, like, she she has, like, a wound that the kid gave her. So then she, like, looks at the wound, and then she looks at the kid passed out on the ground, and she goes, F her. And the guy in the back laughed at that. And it was like, you yeah. just, like, laughing at curse words? That's, like, yeah. a weird... Not even close to the first curse word in the movie. So it's, yeah, like, yeah. not even... There was nothing that... And and it wasn't the funniest part about what was happening mm -hmm. either. Like, hard knocking the kid out was uh, unexpected at the least. Like, I, yeah. I was... That was great. Well, there's some good gore. I enjoy so, that. Yeah. It had a, um... Which we also saw together. Like a bright burny. Yeah, feel. not, not that, as intense as that. Yeah, it wasn't as gory, but it was like, oh, this is funny. Oh, this is a horror movie. Yeah. Ah, right. <laughs> <laughs> totally. One, I, from a fun gore standpoint, which I, the things that make you cringe make me go, eh. like cringe and be like, yeah, this is, you know, that's what I like in gory movies, is when she was just vehemently. <laughs> Beating the face of Annie McDowell oh, in the box, God. and then the shot of her face post beating. 
I mm. was actually surprised that her face didn't look more messed up. That's true. Like, she was smashing her face <laughs> in with that box. Also, when the ant... When the ant chops the head off mm. that lady, I thought that was so perfect. That was one of those, like, Chekhov, Chekhov's gun situations. When they handed the miserable lady the axe, I was like, that better get put to use. <laughs> and then she puts it to perfect use. It's like, yeah, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. And I loved... You don't see a character so cartoonish as her in movies very often anymore. And she was a straight cartoon. Yeah. But it was great, and it worked. I loved yeah, it. Yeah, she was definitely... But, from the look to the way she acted, everything. When they first cut to her, and she's just like... <laughs> when they spent, in the way they had her hands on her legs, it's great. So good. The fact that it's real... Oh, yeah. Because at one point, the soccer dad, Orphan Black soccer dad, is Googling... And I love the use of his cell phone. Like, they went back to his cell phone a bunch. They did. Um... But the, the soccer dad from Orphan Black is Googling packed with Satan, real or bullshit. And that's the first time you hear that it's a packed with Satan. That's yeah. the first time they tell you what, what that it's Satan. That's the yeah. first time. Because before it's like, it seems like a ghost. It, yeah, yeah, it's like, oh, it's a curse, or it's just like, it's an urban legend, or it's a myth. And then as they start to develop that idea more, then they start like giving you more ingredients. So we're like, oh, the Van Horns died and these people and well, that was a house fire. It's like, yeah, but it was a house fire the next morning, obviously. Yeah, you knew how they really died. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. I, so I thought that was really cool. And then, yeah, and then it's revealed at the end that it, it was. And there's like a misdirect there too, which was really great. I thought, yeah, I thought it was like, I thought it was tons of fun. Oh, uh, how, how would you, uh, what's your rating? What's your system? It's basically out of five, but there's like icons to each of the numbers. It's just things <laughs> in my house that I like better than other things. <laughs> three to three and a half. For fun? For fun would get higher. Okay. As opposed to story, which the story just seemed very like, there wasn't really many beats that I wasn't expecting, you know, or could have seen coming. If okay. I but I didn't care, you know, like that's not why. Right, was, that's not why we're there. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, it was like, it wasn't a great movie, but it, I enjoyed my hour and a half for sure. So fun for? Fun for story three. Okay, so it's a ceramic dragon is a four. Okay. And a uh, skull bobblehead is a three. Okay, yeah. That's what uh, I would do. Uh... I'm gonna go ceramic dragon across the board. I'm gonna go four across the board, cause I, it was fun. It was tons of fun, and I'm gonna give this story four because it worked. It, it made sense to me. There was one point. There were a couple of questions that I had going in, like how do you get, why wouldn't he tell her, you know, whatever, like, and when he does tell her, what's that gonna be like, and. They explain it throughout in a way, I think I turned to you at one point, was like, I accept that. Yeah. <laughs> it does feel very like, we have to explain this. Yeah. You write a line that explains this. But they did, mm -hmm. and it wasn't expositional, and it wasn't like, well, you would have left if I told you. And it's like, uh, yeah, she would have left. You're right, good line, great. <laughs> Thank you for adding that to the story. Wanna plug anything? The All American Rejects Center to Heaven EP out now on Epitaph Records. It's coming on a cool one sided 12 inch with the etched B side. Really? So yeah, I'm getting all fancy with that. All American Rejects.com. All American Rejects.com. Yeah. All American Rejects.com. Thank you, Mikey, for doing the show. Uh, again, like, subscribe. Subscribe is important. Uh, if you feel like donating to my Patreon, that's cool. Come see me live. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, you what is it? It's the thing that